Father, in the name of Jesus, we give you praise. We thank you for your presence. We thank you for the opportunity to speak your word. We thank you for there's no distance in the spirit. We thank you because the same anointing, the same grace that we feel in here is over your people everywhere they are. And the spirit of power rests upon them. And we thank you for answering the questions in their heart. For somebody's faith will be inspired today. Somebody will be encouraged in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the anointing that makes teaching and preaching easy. And we thank you for the anointing that also helps us with comprehending your word. We give you all the praise, Lord. We thank you because when all this is over, we shall be stronger, we shall be better, wiser and richer to the glory of your name. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God forevermore. You know, uh, I, 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 let me start by saying that I just, I sense a, a spirit of breakthrough. The spirit of breakthrough in the land. Glory be to God forevermore. Over your home, over your family, over your life, there's a spirit of breakthrough. I, I don't know what you have been struggling with. I don't know the kind of things that's been a challenge to you. But there's a spirit of breakthrough over your life. Even for nations, even for churches, the things that we used to think are big and insurmountable, by the spirit of the living God, they become small potatoes for us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Maybe there's a deed that is hanging, that's been hooked up, that's hanging somewhere. Some things have been trying to push and they are not being pushed. There's, I just sense that there's something happening in that area right now. Even concerning your health, there's a spirit of breakthrough in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Some of you, there, there are certain visions that are in your heart. And you are wondering, how do I go about it? You have thought about it night and day, how to go about it. You have not been able to come up with a how to go about it. A spirit of breakthrough is about your life right now. And you will, so how to go about it will be downloaded to your spirit. Even some of you will just say, let me do this. As you are doing this, then the key for this other one will come. And then you will just break into what God has in store for you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I want to encourage you at this time to spend a lot of time. Honestly, I said it last Sunday. But I want to encourage you to spend a whole lot of time praying in the Holy Spirit. Take your time to pray in the Spirit. You know the Bible says. And that's John chapter 7 verse 37 and 38. The Bible says on the last day of the garden, that day of the feast. Jesus stood up and cried saying. If anyone tests, let him come unto me and drink. For he that believes in me, out of their belly shall flow rivers of living water. Bible said this is spoke concerning the Holy Spirit. That they that believe on him should receive. Because the Holy Spirit was not yet given. But right now the Holy Spirit has been given. Bible calls it the rivers of living water. Bible said out of their belly shall flow what? Rivers of living water. The Bible describing the city of God. And I think that will be in Psalm 46. It's, it, it, it said uh, there's a river that makes glad the city of the living God. The Bible said the streams on this river they make glad the city of the living God. Hallelujah. Do you know sometimes you, you, when you take time to pray in the Holy Ghost, even when you have not seen the breakthrough, there will there be this joy inside of you. You know, the Bible says these streams, they make glad the city of the living God. There's no way, honestly, brothers, there's no way you take your time to pray in the Holy Spirit that depression will hang around you. You just pray in the Holy Spirit, joy will be broken loose. You just, you just break loose inside of you. Hallelujah. And things will just come together for you. The Bible says, yeah, 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 that is it. He said there's a river whose streams shall make glad. The city of the living God. The holy place of the tabernacle of the most high God. Of, of, of the most high. That's what the streams that streams from the, from, from the Holy Spirit. As we take your time. I believe tongues is one of the streams from the river. Wisdom is a stream from the river. Inspiration is a stream from the river. Strength is a stream from the river. Bible says these streams that flows from this river. Bible says they make glad the city of the living God. Hallelujah. So I want to encourage you. Take time. When you are, when, when you are driving, pray in your car. You can play background music and pray. Sometimes when I come out of my house in the morning and, and, and I want to pray in the Holy Spirit, I, I, and I notice that maybe the neighbors are looking so that they don't, they, they don't, they don't wonder who is this mad person talking inside the compound, you know, and, uh, you, know and you sip and you walk in your compound and you sip. Okay, you don't understand. So, 
so that they, go, they don't wonder why we are sipping and wonder <laughs> in our compound. So I, 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 I just pretend as if I'm talking. Sometimes I'm, I'm making my confessions. I bring my paper. I, I, I pretend as if I'm talking. I bring out my phone. I do like this. Oh, I, I, I am praying the Holy Ghost. Who can be Sandra Rebecca Sovrike Shdaria? Kesa Talibra, who can be Seka Lim Rudo Sovrida Halake? Lim Rede Kasuteli Brada Tapu Seti Lekem Brada Reke Kiriya Bashte Kariya. Wow, Reza Prabhu Sovrike Mandala Ba. Oh, Baka Sovrida Kaka Sundle Maha. Okay, Basi Ke Rudo He Plega. They will say I'm talking about. I'm not talking to anybody. Anybody. I'm speaking mysteries in the spirit. So that I don't want them to be guilty because I don't want them to be, to be distracted. I'll be looking at me. What's this guy doing? Because I said the taste of the spirit are foolishness to a natural man. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So as you drive, pray in the Holy Ghost. You are making progress. Bible talks about breathing yourself on your most holy faith. Pray in the Holy Ghost. There's a natural prayer. There's a pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Life is too complex. Life is too complex for you to just depend on your own understanding. You need to learn to pray in the Holy Ghost. Take your time to pray in the Holy Ghost. And uh, 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 praying the Holy Ghost is one of the greatest privilege that you, you don't you, you, you can you can be doing some other thing as you are still praying the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. So I want to encourage you to take advantage to take, take advantage of that. The, the title of my message today uh, it, 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 it's wonderful, you know. Uh, before this, before we, we, we came up, came on, on online just now, um I was just with, with, with Pastor DJ. Was he was saying that my uh, my suit looks nice, and I told him that it's a uh, it's, it's a shoe, you know. And then he was like, ah, it's, a, it's a good show. But incidentally, the title of my message is, is, is funny, but you will get to understand it at the end of the day. You know, I'm not really very good at titling messages, but since this, we have to tie two things now because we are talking to you. Not just talk, but right now we just, um, we, we have to make it comprehensible for people who are watching online. So the title of my message today is, is I titled it, This Old Show is for Me. This whole show has been like, like my 50th birthday. I watched it again about two weeks ago. From the beginning to the end. Man, it was a show. And I said, wow. So this whole show just for me. And honestly, I can't stop praying for all of you that put it together. God will bless you. God will honor you. Honestly, it was a worldwide show. It was a worldwide show. I enjoyed it. So the title of my message today is so all this show, this new soul show is for me. I know you are wondering where am I getting at? You will understand it shortly. Hallelujah. You will be able to thank God and understand. So this whole show is just for you. Hallelujah. Who? Mark chapter 6 from verse 14, please. Mark 6 from verse 14. I'm going to read a long passage, 6, 14 to 28. This is about 14 or 15 verses because the longer I read, the, 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 the shorter I preach. So, because when you read long, the whole thing becomes self-explanatory. Glory be to God forevermore. Now, King Herod heard of him. Okay, what is happening here? He heard of, about the miracles of Jesus Christ. So, he was trying to console himself. You know, so that uh, John, John, a kid, he's come back to life. You know, but it's not true. Look at what he's saying. Now, uh, now King Herod heard of him, for his name had become well known. Ha ha! May your name become well known. That evil kings will hear of you in the name of Jesus. Become well known. And he said, John the Baptist is risen from the dead. Therefore, those powers are at work in him. Who? Others said, it is Elijah. And others said, it is the prophet. Oh, phew, you have jumped. I have not finished. Okay, it is a prophet, like one of the prophets. Go to verse 16. Okay? But when Herod heard, he said, No, it's not a prophet. This is John, whom I beheaded. He has, he, he has been raised from the dead. Try to pacify his conscience again. Okay? For Herod himself had sent and laid hold of John. Follow this story. And bound him in prison. For the sake of Herodias, that's the name of his wife. His brother is his brother, Philip's wife. For he had married her. He collected his wife, his brother's wife. So you see this. You know, Jesus, you know what Jesus called this guy? He said, Go and tell that fox. That shows you how despised he was. He said, Go and tell that fox. Silly, tricky old man. Go and tell him. That was your calling. 
Because John has said to him, to Herod, it is not lawful for you to have your brother's wife. There are many ladies in the land. What are you, what are you looking for your brother's wife for? Therefore, look at this. Oh. It's amazing. Therefore, Herodias heard it against him. Herod was rebuked. He was a lady. Ladies, you ladies. They are heard it against him because somebody said you cannot marry. You are the one that heard it against the man that said it. I thought it was the man they rebuked. What is your problem? Therefore, I heard it against him. And wanted to kill him. But she could not. Wow. For Herod feared John. The husband feared John. Knowing that he was a just and a holy man. And he protected him. Whenever the wife said, let us go and kill that nonsense. The husband will tell him, if you try it again, I will kill you first before you kill him. Before I kill him. So the man protected him. And when he heard him, he did many things and heard him gladly. He used to go to his prison. I said, man, let's just. I need some tutorial. I need some things. And when the man spoke to him, he would adjust some things in his life. And Bible said, every time he heard him, he heard him gladly. Let's go on. Then an opportune day came when Herod, on his birthday, gave a feast for his nobles. The high officers, the high estate of the land, and the chief men of Galilee. Wow. And when Herodias daughter, she already had a daughter for Prince Philip. That is a brother, you know. Brother of this one. So, okay. Uh, and when the Herodias daughter herself came in and danced and pleased Herod and those who sat with him, the king said to the girl, ask me whatever you want and I will give it to you. This whole show is for me, man. This whole show, just put together for me. I'm going on somewhere. Go somewhere with this. He also swore to her, whatever you ask me, I will give you up to the half of my kingdom. Wow. So she went out and said to her mom, what shall I ask? And she said, the head of John the Baptist. Wow. Immediately, she came in with haste to the king and asked saying, I want you to give me at once the head of John the Baptist on the platter. And the king was exceedingly sorry. Yet because of the oaths and because of those who sat with him, he did not want to refuse her. Immediately the king sent an executioner and commanded his, and commanded his head to be brought. And he went and beheaded him in prison. The last verse. And brought his head on a platter. And gave it to the silly girl. And the silly girl gave it to her stupid mother. Glory be to God forevermore. Wow. Let me make some comments. That will bless you. And then we now wrap it up nicely. Number one thing I want to tell you this morning is this. Simply because you have power to do something doesn't mean it's right for you to do it. Never forget that in your life. Write that down. Simply because you have power to do something doesn't make it right for you to do it. He had power to marry Herodias, but it doesn't make it, it didn't make it right for him to do it. Somebody could have offended you and you have power to take vengeance and deal with that person. It doesn't make it right for you to do it. Somebody hearing me right now. Somebody could have done something to you and you feel you want to get even. You have, and you have the power, the resources, the connection to deal with that person. It does not make it right for you, that you, for you to do it. Maybe that's on the negative, right? Even sometimes on the positive. Because you live in a five bedroom or a three bedroom and somebody needs an accommodation and it's within your power to give accommodation to that, to that person. Be careful. Pray about it. Because you have resources to do it doesn't, make it, it doesn't mean it's right for you to do it. You may have money to give somebody for, for something. It doesn't mean that it's right for you to give that person. Because if you give that money to that person against the dignity of your spirit, the real person that needs that money may show up the following day. What you need to give to that person, you are giving it out to another person. 
Ah, hey, you know something right now? It's within your power to marry whoever you want to marry, but it doesn't mean that it's right for you to marry anybody. Do you understand what I'm talking about right now? So, even when you have, when it's within your power to do something, it doesn't make it right for you to do it. Those who have employers, you may have the right to sack somebody, but it may not be, it may not be right for you to do it. That's number one thing I want to tell you. Because you may do it and regret it. And be like Herod, who will, who will continue to pacify his conscience. Hey, John, uh, John Baptist is risen from the dead. It wasn't John Baptist that rose from the dead. Jesus Christ was anointed with Holy Spirit and power who went about doing good. It had nothing to do with John the Baptist. Glory be to God forevermore. You have killed that, you have killed him. His sin will be on your neck, his blood will be on your neck forever. So there's no need to try to pacify your conscience. So sometimes when you have power to do something, it doesn't make it right for you to do it. There's a scripture I was reading. Wow. Uh, Mark, Michael. I used to think that Michael is a woman, but uh, yeah, it could sound like a name of a woman. Michael is a prophet, one of the minor prophets. Not because I don't know why they call them minor, but you know, they can't be minor prophet. Maybe because of what they wrote is not much. Okay. <laughs> Why you call somebody minor? God doesn't create anybody minor. Everybody that God created and not any is major. Glory be to God forevermore. Go to chapter 2. Chapter 2. Uh, Micah chapter 2. I just want to read one verse there. Verse, chapter 2 verse 1. Look, look, look at what he says. Oh, look at what he says here. He says, Woe to those who devise iniquity. Okay? And walk out evil on their beds. They will just lie down on their bed. Around 4 a.m. That girl, I'm going to get her. That man, I will get her. I will get him. I'm going to deal with that person. That my landlord or that my landlord's son. I will deal with that man. And you are just lay, lay on your bed and you are imagining people. Imagine, they at money. They do what? They practice it. Why? 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 Because it is in their power. It is in the power of their word, of their hand to do it. Bible says woe to such people. Those in their power to do it, they, 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 they meditate on it and they wake up to execute it. Bible says woe to those guys. I'm going somewhere with this. Hallelujah. Number two thing I want to tell you is this. I've told you that, number one, okay, because you have power to do something, it doesn't make it right for you to do it. Number two thing I want to tell you is this. Please, don't hate those who correct you. Never hate those who correct you. The Bible says no, pre no, no, no correction. Presently, seems enjoyable. But later, the Bible says it works out. Great destiny for those who exercise themselves in it. Sometimes our children will be saying, eh, uh, telling us, uh, so, 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 uh, nobody, uh, they, they, they do this in their home, they do this at home, nobody talks to them. I say nobody talks to them, but you are, you are not like them. You are my own son. I will talk to you. I will knock your head. I, will, it's a book, so I don't understand it. They will be saying that, uh, uh, allow these children to do what they want to do. How, 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 we, 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 where do you get that kind of demonic talk from? You allow children to do what they want to do. Which of your children want to do anything? What they want to, is it not computer they want to play for money tonight? I don't know how that will put food on their table. Before somebody will wake up in the morning and say, I want to be a newspaper collector. No, we can't allow them to do what they want to do. We will guide them to what they, what they should do. The Bible says, guide the child in the way he should go. When it depart, it will, when it grows up, it will not depart from it. All this thing that you are trying to behave uh, funny. The people that are teaching you the, those things, they are guiding their own children. When you don't guide your own children, they will not become servants to those who are guided. Be smart. Because five years of now, seven years of now, they, this kid, you think they are kids right now, they have chosen a career. Things are totally different right now. Walk them through it. Guide them through it. A guided mind is, is likely to get to where they are going that somebody who is not guided. Glory be to God forevermore. We are all strangers in this world. Those who have been there before, before us should guide those who are coming. That is simple wisdom. So don't hate those who correct you. Only a fool hates a man who corrects him. Because John said, it is not right for you to have your brother's wife. You hated him. You put him in prison. Only a fool hates a man who corrects him. Proverbs chapter 9 verse 8. Let me, let, let, let me show you something there. I hope, I'm, I hope I'm correct. Proverbs 9, 8. Proverbs chapter 9, verse 8. Wow. 
Look at what it says. Do not collect his coffer, lest he hates you. That's what the, that, 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 that's what his coffer does. He will hate you. He says, rebuke a wise man, and he will love you. So when you see somebody because you corrected them, they don't like you. You have seen a fool. Bible says, when you correct a wise man, he will love you. That means only a fool that is corrected, I will hate you. Never forget this. Love corrects. Love corrects. Somebody you don't love, you can allow them to go wherever they want to go. But if you love somebody, you will correct them. If you know that this you are going, you are doing is going to harm you, you will say no. Don't do it. Glory be to God forevermore. Love corrects. Hallelujah. Number three thing I want to tell you today is simple. I want to let you know, avoid bitterness towards anybody. You know why? When you are bitter towards anybody, it makes you to do stupid things. Bitterness will make you do stupid things. I mean, guys, this is funny, but just follow me this morning. Let me take my time a little bit. How can you have opportunity for a king to swear that for this dance, I will give you anything even up to the heart of my kingdom? And because of bitterness, you couldn't even ask for anything, any better thing. He said, give me the head of John the Baptist. Of all that the king gave you, offer. Because bitterness has consumed that woman. Like somebody said, I think I've told you before in this church, that I said, she should have even asked for the part of the, of the kingdom where John was imprisoned. He said, give me, yeah, we said to Metama, for those of you living in Abuja, upward. We are the prison. Or if you are coming towards Kuje, just say from <laughs> say, give me. Are you from Guse to to Apo to everything? Upward. Airport road towards Gemida. And you are free to kill anybody. It's not under our jurisdiction. He said, ask up to you because of bitterness. He just said, Give me the head of John the Baptist. Don't let bitterness consume you. Because you, you will see nothing apart from the object of your bitterness. Glory be to God forevermore. I hope someone is getting delivered from what I'm saying. Don't allow it. Don't allow it. Glory be to God forevermore. Now the Bible says, now came an opportune day. The king, it was king's birthday. And he said, and, and Herodias' daughter came and danced. And danced. Another thing, let, me, let me say this before I go further. Let me never forget this. Huh? Be careful the promises you make. Please, I, I, I don't want to. I don't want. To, I don't want to forget that. Be careful the promises you make. Uh, because when it's time to fulfill it, you may discover that it is a painful promise you made. But let me leave that alone. You know, go and promise a boy. No matter what happens, we are forever a broke boy. Okay, let's leave that alone. Time is going. <laughs> Time is going, okay? I don't want to talk about I don't want to talk about that. Okay. You know, no matter what happens, you know. And they've told you, hey, this girl, oh, you know, she carried that. You said, No, no, it doesn't matter. No, no, it's okay. And you know, you don't know, you don't you don't do that. Don't make, be careful the kind of promises you make. Glory be to God forevermore. But let's let, 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 let's let's continue. This girl came and danced. As she danced, the king was taken, was taken, captivated. She called the girl. Tell me, what do you want? Even to the half of my kingdom, I will give it to you. Bible says she danced and that dance pleased the king. The king was so pleased and the king made a promise. But this is where I'm going with this. Is it possible? Is it possible that somebody will do something that somebody that, that will please the king our or place whoever is in authority instead of them be the beneficiary you are the beneficiary of that thing for example or somebody is the beneficiary for example the centurion came to Jesus remember and uh, Jesus said okay he said my servant is sick Jesus said I will come and heal him he said no don't come for I am a man under authority he said from where you are speak the word my servant shall be here. Say, for God, I'm a man under authority. When I say to this one, go, and he goes, when I say to this one, come, and he comes. Speak the word. 
Jesus looked at that guy. He said, wow. I never said such a great faith. No, not in Israel. Jesus was so impressed. He said, I swear to declare. So he said, go your way. Your servant is hid. Who pleased Jesus Christ? The centurion. Who got the benefit? The servant. Bible says, and Esther obtained favor with the king, right? It was Esther, Esther that, was, that obtained favor. But who, was, who, who, who got the benefit? It, our people. They are the ones that were set free. They are the ones that get ascendance over their enemy. Sometimes somebody could do something that will get, get win the favor, approval of, of God, approval of, of those in authority, and you, are the, and you are the beneficiary. So I'm going somewhere with this. You know what I'm trying to tell you in this sense? All that Jesus did. Jesus danced. How is the king? Jesus did all that God wanted him to do. The king looked at him. Said, wow. I have given you a name above every other name. That at your name, every knee should bow. Of this in heaven, this on earth, this underneath the earth. Every day. That was the only place to serve for God. He said, I'm giving it to you. I'm sharing it with you. Glory be to God forevermore. I'm talking about Jesus. That's why I said, so all this show was put together for me. Meanwhile, Herodias was at home. He relaxed somewhere. But this whole show was so that what is in her heart can, can, can be fulfilled. Is it possible that everything that God did, all this show that was put together was just for you? Hallelujah. Look, 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 look. What about say concerning Jesus Christ? In, in, in Matthew, let, let me read a couple of scriptures. My time is gone. Go. Let, let me read a couple of scriptures so, so we can learn safely. A couple of scriptures. Go, 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 go to the book of Matthew, chapter 3, verse 17. I'll just be reading them. Chapter 3, verse 17. Okay, I prefer to read here. That, okay, it says, Abraham says, and suddenly a voice came from heaven saying, What? This is what my beloved son, what in who, what I am, what where, please. God was pleased with Jesus. Pleased with Jesus. Go to, go, 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 go to Matthew chapter 17. Let's rush, let's rush. Matthew chapter 17 verse 5. I'm rushing somewhere. Hallelujah. Matthew 17 verse 5. Bible says, this is on the mountain, mountain of, of transfiguration. Bible says, while he was still speaking, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them, and suddenly a voice came out of the cloud saying, what again? This is what my beloved son, in whom I am what well pleased. Wow. God had repeated it again that he was well pleased with Jesus Christ. You know what Jesus Christ said? In the book of John, chapter 3, verse 34, he said, My meat is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish his work. You know what Jesus said in the book of John, chapter 8, verse 29? You know what he said? He said, The Father who sent me has not left me alone because I do the things that are always pleasing. In his sight. What I'm trying to say. That Jesus pleased God. God declared that I am well pleased with him. Is it possible that all that Jesus was doing. Pleasing the father. Do, do you know something? That even the death of Jesus. Beyond paying the price for our sins. Was an act of pleasing God. The Bible says. When the beloved came to this world. He said. In offerings and all those sacrifices, I have not pleased. He said, But a body you have prepared for me. He said, In the volume of the book it is written, I have come to do your will, O God. So the reason for having a human body was a came to please God by death. Glory be to God forevermore. Is it possible that all this thing that God was doing, Jesus did please the Father, was for your sake? Hallelujah. John chapter 17, verse 19. John 17, 19. I'm going somewhere. Hallelujah. Woo! Glory be to God. John 17, 19. Look at Jesus, Jesus praying here. He says, And for what? For their sakes. Did you see that? And for their sakes, I did what? I sanctified myself. That they also may be sanctified by what? By the truth. He said, All oh, this pattern life I lead. I led all this life without sin. I led all this way that I led. I, I live the life to please my father. He said, For their sake, for their sake. I said, All this party was put together for your sake. Ha ah, ah, wow, that God came in flesh, manifested on earth, entered the, 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 the womb of a virgin, born in a manger, ran to Egypt, 
came back persecuted, faced face Sadducees, faced Pharisees, did all that. Britain, nailed to the cross, rose again the third day. All that show was put together just for you. Put together just for you. I said this dance was for me. I may not know how to dance, but there's somebody that can dance. I may not know how to please the king, but somebody knows how to please the king. I may not be able to say enough things to please the king, but somebody can say something to please the king on my behalf. Hallelujah! I want to say, I, I'm telling you this. Look, you may not know what to do, but somebody has placed the king on your behalf. And the check has been issued. Do you know what the Bible actually says? Go, 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 go to Romans chapter 8, verse 1. The Bible says, what we could not do, that what, 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 we are through the flesh. God did. God did. Hallelujah. There is therefore another economy for those who character Jesus, who do not work according to the flesh, but according to the spirit. Go on, verse 2, verse 2, verse 2, verse 2. Let's read to, to verse 4. For, for the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. Verse 3, go on. Okay. For what the law could not do in that it was weak through the flesh, God did. God did by sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh, and on account of sin, he condemned sin in the flesh. Hallelujah. That the righteousness requirement of the law might be fulfilled in us who do not work according to the flesh but according to the spirit is it possible don't forget Herodias was sharing the same bedroom with the king he could not get she, she could not get a request every time she brought up the issue of John the Baptist she was shut down Bible says she could not not that she would not she could not she tried she could not Herodias was the one when the king dresses, she would take a look at the king, say, You look nice. The king would say, Me? He said, Yes, don't worry, you look nice. When they cook, she cooked quickest food. She served the king. She shared the bed with the king. But there was something, despite all her service, she could not do. But when the daughter did, danced, she benefited. Is it, is it possible that all that we could not do? Christ did. And now we are the beneficiary. Yes. Yes. And there is a blank check. A blank check issued because of what Christ did. Look at the king said, whatever you want, even though they have of my kingdom. That's what the Bible says. We have been made joint heirs with Christ. Sharing the kingdom. Glory be to God forevermore. He said, whatever. What do you want? Is that, what, is that not what Jesus Christ said? He said before now, you have asked nothing in my name. So whatever you ask in my name, whatever you ask in my name, I will do it. John, 6, John 16, verse 23, let me read two verses there. Then I will read one, one, one more verse and we will close for today. I brought this up. Why I'm saying this is that for you to know that all of you worldwide, anywhere you are hearing me today, some of you will say, this thing is too difficult. God cannot hear me. This thing, I cannot get this prayer answered. I cannot get this. It's never about you. It's never about you. It's about what Christ did. This whole show was put together for you. The Bible says it came about in the, in, the, in, the, in the day that the king put together a birthday. But we didn't know that at the end of that day, Herodias would be the greatest beneficiary of that, of that birthday. Glory be to God forevermore. Heaven has put together a party for you. Heaven has put together something for you. That after all said and done, you are going to be the beneficiary of it. Glory be to God forevermore. Look at what he says here. In, and in that day, you will ask me nothing. Most actually, actually, I say to you, whatever you ask my father, the king in my name, he will give it to you. He will give it to you. Verse 24, please. Until now, you have asked nothing in my name. Ask, what, and you will receive that word that your joy may be full. What a blank check. I want to challenge you. Honestly, I want to challenge you. That's why I started by telling you, take time to pray in the spirit. Bible says you have not because you ask not. You can ask God for wisdom. You know, some people even said it's, it's wrong for believers to pray about prosperity. I don't know. I don't know which Bible you are reading. I don't know which Bible you are reading. Hey, because uh, he has prospered us already. 
Uh, but I thought he has also given his angel already. He has done so many things already. But you have to ask. That is the principle of the kingdom. What grace has made available, you must take it by faith. You must ask. Glory be to God forevermore. Ask. I think it was, it was Jebesh. The Bible says, and Jebesh was more honorable than all his brethren. And Jebesh, the Bible says, Jebesh prayed. That was all. He asked God. That was a constant thing there. That was kind of what he asked God. He said, oh God, that you, will, that you will bless me what? Indeed. Hey, may God bless you indeed. May God bless your family indeed. Hey, you know what? Oh, oh, you, you didn't get that. 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 When somebody is blessed indeed, it's even, it's even for somebody who's blessed potentially. Because of what Christ has done, we have been blessed. The Bible says he has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places. But you don't buy car with spiritual blessings. You don't rent houses or buy lands with spiritual blessings. You don't build. <laughs> you don't pay school fees <laughs> with spiritual blessings. <laughs> Neither do you get married with spiritual blessings. You don't throw reception. So come and eat. Set the table there. Table for 500. Table there. Please. Say where is the money for the table? Say spiritual blessings. In heavenly places. Please. Decorate this place with lilac and purple. Lilac. Lilac and... I don't know. Lilac is purple, right? <laughs> so it will be lilac and orange. I like lilac. I like bright colors. Bright. Lilac. He said, where is the money? He says, spiritual blessings in heavenly places. <laughs> it does not work like that. It doesn't work like that. The man said that you will bless me what? Indeed. May God bless you indeed. When they said, do you have the money? Your answer will be what? Yes! Do you have the house? Yes! You have been blessed what? Indeed. When you sign the check, your check will not bounce. That you have been blessed what? Indeed. That you will bless me indeed. Say that I may not cause pain. That your hand will be with me. And Bible says, and God granted him. I thought God would have said, if it's some people do it, God would have said, wow, wow, wow. What a greedy people. What a greedy generation. Despite all I've done for you, I let the sun shine on, your, on you. I let the rain fall for you. You sleep, you are okay, you are not sick. What do you want again? Jabesh, 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 Jabesh Gilead. What do you want? He didn't do that. And I said, God granted him his request. May God grant you your request. May you be blessed indeed. As Bible says, it was more honorable. May you become more honorable because you serve the living God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Honestly, I don't know about you. I want to be blessed indeed. I want to be blessed indeed. I want to be blessed indeed. May God bless you indeed. You this black check. Go before God. Is there something you are asking? You want to see? Ask God. Just ask God. Honestly, uh, because we, we, we are online, I, I don't want to say some things. I wish we were in church. I will, I will say some, I will break some things down for you. Ask, ask God. Even if you are drinking, ask God. God help me against this beer. I am the righteous of God in Christ Jesus. Ask God. Hallelujah. Amen. You see that you have what I call a cook. I don't know. You know this kind of behavior that you don't desire what is not yours. Instead of you to be doing like that, go before God. Say, God, help me. I want to live a life. Just help me. Ask God. Hallelujah. Time is going. You are getting to 45, 50. Nothing is working. You are still struggling. You are still begging for money. Go to God. God, I am tired of begging. Bless me indeed. You have you been making series of foolish decisions. Don't stop pretending as if you are wise. Go before God. Say, God, give me wisdom. Let me get it right. I am tired of busting my head against the wall. Guide me. All your days, past five days, you have been losing money. Ask God, show me how to do it. Glory be to God forevermore. Instead of also being critical, criticizing others, and be, and be, no, no, let me tell you something. Hey, no, no you, you, sometimes online, because everybody's online these days. So we will pick up, like, like uh, where we, we live in Nigeria here right now. There's a controversy about, you know, some part of Nigeria right now, whether Jesus Christ is black or white. 
and the, and, 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 the, and the commercial is raging like white fire and everybody's coming in. I, I, I laughed. How can you be broke and be talking about whether your is black or white? What difference does he make? No, tell me! What difference does he make? Whether it's yellow or green? The Bible said those who know their God shall be strong. Not those who know the color of God. Wow. Those who are fighting for their lives don't have time for other things. I've never seen somebody who's, who, who's sinking in water and they say, hey, look at the color of that. You are, you are, you, you are badly to come out. I think if you focus more, your energy will produce for you. Glory be to God forevermore. This old show, this old dance was put together for me. Thank God for the skill of Elder's daughter. Thank God for all the preparation and how she did it. But the person who benefited was waiting somewhere. Is that what the Bible says? And the lay take the prey. The lame. We have been paralyzed by sin. Jesus Christ was standing strong. He did all the dance. He pleased God. And yet we are the beneficiary. Glory be to God forevermore. I challenge you today. What do you want from God? Go there. Ask him. He has pleased the Father. He has come to you. Whatever you Bible says, whatever you ask in my name. Because once it gets before once his name gets before God, God is pleased with that name. So it's no longer about you, it's about the person who danced and pleased the Father. Glory be to God forevermore. One more scriptures, and I'm out of here. Second Kings, first Kings, sorry, first Kings, chapter three. Hallelujah. Chapter three. I read verse 17. Second Kings chapter three, verse 17, and I'll be out of here. We just, we just want to pray. I want to encourage you. I want to encourage you, honestly. Talk to God. Father, I'm 35. I'm 40. I've been living in rented apartment. My parents lived in rented apartment all their lives. I was raised in rented apartment. Father, I don't want to raise my children in rented apartment. I want to buy my own house. I want to have my own land. In our family, nobody is a millionaire. Father, let your blessing rest upon me indeed. I want to break every record. Put as a testimony to your faithfulness, O oh God. Lord, I am the firstborn of my family. I have my siblings depending on me. But Lord, I depend on you. You are my rock. You are my rock. You are my rock. Help me to be a blessing. Father, I saw how my parents suffered. They are 75. They are 70. They are on their way out. But, oh Lord, I ask that you will grant me my heart request. I want to build them a house before they go. Grant it to me. Ask God. Is somebody here what I'm talking about right now? Ask him. Father, I don't want to marry in obscurity. I want to, want to marry in average. Father, I want, to, I want my wedding to be a feast for the king. Don't tell me that those, those are... Oh, those are uh, I don't know what to call it. Uh, uh, selfish things. Ask God. When is a day now? It's just a day. Let it make it memorable. Make it memorable. One of our members came to me the other day. Uh, I said, Dad, uh, can we just wear this Saturday? You know, before the COVID, we just do it, something small. I said, God forbid. It's not me that, it's not me that we join you during this time. Go and lock yourself down. You understand? Lockdown. After the lockdown, then we will we'll come back to that. Glory be to God forevermore. It's not now. What are you afraid of? What are you afraid of? Hallelujah. Ask God. Ask God. Father, every time I read the Bible, I don't understand anything. It's just a literature to me. Father, open my eyes. Glory be to God forevermore. You, you know, let me tell you something. Some of you are wondering why I take my time to talk about Jesus Christ every time. What he has done. Every story I start, I end up with Jesus Christ. It's a, it, there's a reason. I, I don't, I'm not doing things for just what, doing it too. Let me tell you something. Whatever you talk about shows up. Yes. Yes. Anything you talk about shows up. If you talk about fear, fear will show up. If you talk about poverty, poverty will show up. Don't you know? Bible said those, about those two, those two disciples who are going from Jerusalem to Emmaus. Bible said they were talking among themselves. 
about the things that happened in Jerusalem. How Jesus Christ died. How he resurrected again. And we have not seen him. The Bible says, as they were talking, Jesus showed up. Joshua showed up. Oh, whatever you talk about, we show up. As we talk about Jesus, may he show up in your life. May he show up in your, in, in, in your home. May he show up in your career. May he, show up in your, may he show up in your business. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This dance is for me. This whole show was put together just for me. Hallelujah. One more scriptures and I'm out of your faces. Glory be to God forevermore. Second Kings. I said, chapter 3 verse 17, right? Okay, where is it? No. Sorry. I said first king. What was I? First king. Okay. No, it can't be here. What I'm looking for. You know, where that guy sacrificed a thousand bullocks, right? Is it first or second? Where are we reading? We are, uh, we are, we are uh, what do you call it? We are called the name of that guy. Um, Solomon. Look for it for me. Bible says, and he offered a thousand burnt offering. Hallelujah. Maybe it's early part of it. No, no, it can't be here. Wait, wait, second, no. Oh, first king, are you sure? No, it, maybe it's chapter 2. Go back to chapter 2. Or back chapter 3, verse 4 or something. Go back to the beginning. Where he went to Gibeah and offered burnt offering to the Lord. Glory be to God forevermore. Okay. Yeah. Go back a little bit again. Go back. It's not here. Yeah. Go back. Go back. Go back. It could be. Just go back. It's not here. Did you say a thousand here? Go back. You didn't see a thousand here. Go back. Go back to verse six or verse something. We begin to read down. Uh -huh. Go back to verse 4, verse 3. Uh -huh. Verse 4. Now the king, now the king went to Gibeon uh -huh. to sacrifice there. For, the, for that was the great high place. And Solomon offered what? A thousand burnt offerings on, the, on that altar. Look at the next verse, verse 5. Verse 5. Uh, uh, verse 5. And at Gibeon, the Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream by night. And God said, ask, what shall I, what, give you? The first bull. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do you know what it means to kill a cow? I will see where they kill cow before. See the struggle. Kid hundred, God was watching. What is this guy doing? Then one thousand, one, 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 one fifty. Then two hundred. Ah. Then three hundred. Then three fifty. Then four hundred. Then five hundred. Then six. Then seven hundred. Then eight. A thousand. God said no. What do you want? No, 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 no. What, what do you want? But I read later in the book of Hebrews. Bible says, in burnt offering, you are not pleased. But a body, you are prepared for me. If a thousand burnt offering or booze will provoke, provoke God to say, what do you want? How much more will the death of Jesus Christ provoke God to say, what do you want? So that means the whole plan from the beginning, the seed of the woman coming was all planned just for me. Wow. I want to ask you today, what do you want? No, no, no. In your home, what do you want? That house where you are listening to this message, do you want to buy it? Do you want it? Do you believe God that when I all said and done, you're going to be richer and bigger and better? What do you want? If a thousand bought of it, we may go to ask Solomon, what do you want? Do you know what, what, what the death of Jesus Christ can do? So, I come to you today. Because all this show was put for me. What do you want? Anointing? What do you want? You want to flow in the gift of the Spirit? What do you want? What do you want? Favor with God and with men? What do you want? 
unusual wisdom, what do you want? He has danced. He has been disgraced. He has done it openly so that you can be blessed. The king has asked, what do you want? Lift up your hand, everybody. Honestly. If you understand what I just told you today, failure is going away from your life forever. Honestly. There is no way you can end up small. Uh -uh. He paid now. He danced now. He was disgraced now. He was beaten now. He was hung on the cross now. And they made mockery of him now. They tore his cloth now. He hung out naked for you now. He became sick that he might become rich now. Abba. He became poor. Abba. Abba. All these things was put together. Just Bible said, great is the mystery of godliness. That God was made manifest in flesh. God came in flesh. My God. All these things was put together just for you. Thank you Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I want you to lift up your hand and ask God for anything. Honestly. That's what God laid on my heart to share with you. For your own, it could just be wisdom. Ask, honestly. Some of you have not worked for some time. You've not worked for, 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 for a bit of time now. Ask God for restoration. Ask God. Father, for the years I've not worked and for the years ahead I claim everything back ask God some of you have been cheated out of certain deeds and you are bitter don't be bitter I told you those who are bitter do stupid things don't be bitter ask God for restoration wow some of you you are, you are a bit touchy ask God for enlargement of heart to accommodate people ask God Shh. So you are battling with certain sickness or certain weakness. Ask God. Ask God. Manga brado sekere. Ask God to help you. Thank you, Lord. Ask God to help you. Re bataka le brodo sekanda la brada toskelebre. Louvre da kala brado. More than a thousand bullocks have been sacrificed. The creator of the bullock himself has been sacrificed. The creator of the bulls has been sacrificed. The creator of the heaven and earth has been sacrificed. This is more than the death of the daughter of Herodias. This is the death of the son of God himself. So what do you want? On the basis of what he did for you, what do you want? What do you want? A family member is not feeling well, ask God. Your daddy has just been not been feeling well, ask God. Some people die early in your family, ask God. That, that yoke be destroyed. You want to live long, ask God. I sense in my spirit that somebody with a heart problem. You are watching this. You are watching this. You are watching this. You are watching this. You are actually a woman. You are a little bit on the big side. I, I, I can see your hair is splattered somewhere, just the back, to the back. I just, just ask God. Let them fix for you a new heart. In, in the house where you are, that on the room to your right, that, that is another person on the room. I don't know, let me see. No, it's, it's a room to your left, to where you are, yeah, to this side, where you, in, in your house. I see you taking things in and out, like as if you are not seeing a sick person in the other room. The healing power of God has touched that person right now. As far as this service is over, go lay hand on that person and serve that person communion, and you will testify. See a, a room, yeah, yeah. Somebody's there. I see you taking food out, taking food in, taking cleaning the place in and out. A sick person was living there. I, as we are talking, salvation, healing powers enter that house, that room. Thank you, Father. Oh Lord, we give you praise. We honor your holy name. Let me pray for you now, Father, in the name of Jesus. I thank you for my brothers and for my sisters. I thank you. For what you are doing. Oh, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Prodigal sons are coming back home. Amen. Prodigal children, they are coming back home. Amen. I don't know. You think that your children or your, or your child or your son is lost. They are not lost. The Lord told me they are coming back home. They are going to 
of serve the Lord. Hallelujah. That spirit of rebellion is broken all of their lives. Now, in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father. Reba taka brodosri. Manda labaka soprederi. Balenda kala brodosakelia boroto kalia baroteria. I break the spirit of struggle. I break that spirit of struggle. Amen. Every form of struggle. Financial struggle. Career struggle. Amen. Marital struggle. Amen. I come against the spirit of struggle. You will no longer complete anything with sweat. You will do everything with ease. In the name of Jesus. Favor finds you. These find you. In the name of Jesus. Bagala brodo se handelembre. Kala brada sofedia kalenda na kastoria. Father, we give you praise. We bless your holy name. Oh, thank you. Because we will testify. We will testify. We will testify. I will testify. Father, our confidence is in the dance of your son. Our confidence is in the sacrifice of your son. Our confidence is in what Christ did for us. He pleased you on the basis of the fact that he pleased you. He that knew no sin was made sin that it might become your righteousness. He pleased you. So we know because he pleased you, we now have, we have become accepted and highly favored because he pleased you. On the basis of that, we ask for a divine visitation on our lives. Fresh rain of the spirit. Divine touch that can never be erased. Visions and dreams. Encounters. Open doors. Testimonies. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise. We know you are able to do exceedingly but now what we ask and for this week and for weeks to come we receive strength in our inner man inspiration of the Holy Spirit to pray to pray, to pray out the mystery of, of these things in the name of Jesus we bless you Father thank you Lord we worship you Lord in Jesus mighty name we are praying